Welcome to episode two of Eudaimonia or Bust with your host, Aurora Skies. Hello, how are you today, my friends? The first thing I have to talk about in my notes is something I did touch a little bit in the first episode. I wanted to talk about um, YouTube and the visual podcast aspect of this. I uploaded my first episode of You Diamond ER Bust a couple days ago, and I'm very happy with how it's all turning out so far. There is one downfall that sucks, but I'm not going to let it, like, take me down because I feel like I could give up right now. <laughs> I feel like I could probably give up because it's kind of demotivating, but the very first episode I had did all my visuals and everything after I did the audio and like I was editing it and I want to make sure for my visual episodes that I include my own sound soundtrack what I want to make sure I include my own subtitles because sometimes what the fuck am I saying you know so that was going to be like that's going to be one of the main things in the visuals I believe is subtitles correctly stating what I should be saying so I had edit the whole video and audio and it was uploaded and it was like ready to go but then like well, well the upload the audio part was uploaded and everything but I'm also researching like RSS feed and all that kind of stuff and um all the different platforms that you can have your podcast on and the different ways to put it on. Girl, it's a lot, let me tell ya. All right, so. Thank God I had saved the first episode because, like after I had edited it because my dumbass went through and deleted a bunch of shit because I was trying to make space on my computer for a bunch of Sims 4 mods that we're not going to talk about right now. Um, anyway, podcast. I deleted a bunch of videos and I accidentally deleted like the raw core file of the audio and it misplaced it in my editing software. So that fucked it up a lot because I could not figure out where it went on my computer for the life of me. It literally like I tried it all. I really did. And I didn't recover it. <laughs> But luckily, I had it saved in another format, so I was able to go back, and I didn't have to re-edit the first episode. Let me tell you, if I would have had to edit that episode twice, I probably we probably wouldn't be here right now. But I'm not gonna let it get over me. To I'm not gonna let it control me or my wants. What? But. It just sucks because like that was kind of a problem so that was really annoying and then I got that sorted out and then I went to go export my subtitles and they were beautiful and my visuals were great and I was a big fan of how it all looked. They, they kept being export problems and it was like because I still had like missing files and stuff but it doesn't matter. Because I haven't uploaded it yet. I don't know if I will upload it right now. In the future, it someday will be uploaded, re-uploaded with subtitles for visuals. But I'm not going to worry about that one right now. Because I have completely done everything I can editing-wise. And it's literally done. It's just my dumbass can't figure it out. So once I can figure that out, there will be a visual for the first episode. But I am going to try and just go on and do the visuals with this episode as well. I think it might be a little bit easier. Um, once I get distributed on different platforms, I'm not going to lie, uploading the like podcast stuff and different websites is a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. If I knew it was this easy, I like maybe would have done it a little sooner. I don't know. It's just, I just think it's crazy that um, because I was able to distribute my first episode of Eudaimonia or Bust. And it is available on most platforms, such as Spotify, YouTube, YouTube Music, Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, CastBox, Amazon Music, and even iHeartRadio. I have not seen the words iHeartRadio in a very long time, but hey, I have a podcast on it now. So ta-da! Cool. Also, I have a Discord. If anyone is interested in joining, I am... I'm not really ever in it, but... 
I do hope to get back up to being more on the internet and like in the social, like the in the digi on the web, on the web. <laughs> I miss being on the internet. I think that might be a good. So I. I don't know necessarily when to talk about this story, but I feel like maybe perhaps I should now. Um, I don't know. I guess we'll see. I say that a lot, I've noticed. So, okay. Well, before I do, before I go over this story, let's see if we can find anything fun uh, in my philosophy notes. <laughs> For the little bit of philosophy we're going to do today is I'm going to explain a little bit more in depth about the word eudaimonia as just a little bit of a refresher of what the hell that means. So eudaimonia is the ultimate goal or meaning of life in theory, which comes out to living well and living a good life. The thing with eudaimonia, though, is if it has to depend on other things or other people, then it's not yours. If you're letting other people and scenarios control your emotions and how you react to it, eudaimonia is something that you should wish upon everyone, even if they are your enemies, as Aristotle would say. We're going to pause right there on philosophy for the episode because I don't even know if anything I just said made any sense, to be honest. So I'm going to have to go back and edit, and I might just cut it all out. Who knows? But maybe it, maybe I can salvage it. I wanted to add a new segment of the episodes where I talk about my favorite current music of the time of the recording of this episode. And in my episode two notes... It's funny because, like, the three songs I was listening to I have on there aren't even the same three that I am, like, going... that I have on repeat right now. Um, which just goes to show maybe I need to start filming things a little quicker. But that's a problem on me. The notes in here for this episode, however, said that the music of the ep should be... They... I guess they were... Because they're still new. Yeah. Yeah, well... Right now, I can't get it out of my head. But I am obsessed and have been obsessed with Please Put Me in a Medically Induced Coma by Carol's Daughter. I think it is an absolute banger. Motherfucking bop, bitch. Also got Houdini by Eminem on repeat. Kind of a banger. Not gonna lie. Also listening to a lot of Billie Eilish right now as she recently released an album. And one song I am always thinking of and always singing is Birds of a Feather. So fucking good. Also love Diner. I, they're just, all of them are so good. Everything that woman produces is like gold. It's just so good. She's so good. Like, I don't know. I just, you know. You know how last episode I said I wanted to be Maggie Lindemann? <laughs> Perhaps that is going to be a reoccurring thing where I pick someone that I would like to be. And in this episode, I'm going to pick out Billie Eilish. I love that bitch with the whole entire cosmic spectrum. She's so good. Lunch, so good. Skinny, so good. All of it, absolute banger. So, um... It looks like Billy is our winner today. Not that it was a competition, but so obviously, yeah, obsessed with Billie Eilish right now. I also should have a couple more songs in here. Let me let me pull up my Spotify and see what I've been listening to a lot of. Oh, um, I'm listening to a lot of Aurora, which is funny. She has a song for the Netflix series of One Piece. It's called My Sales Are Set. It is also a banger. It is so good. Also, right now, I'm obsessed with a song called Labor by Paris Pal Paloma? Paloma? It's really good, though. That one is art. Peak. Peak art. Peak art form. I will sit here and just talk about music for 
the rest of this episode if I am able to. So I am going to pause there because once I start naming off songs that I like, we're never going to fucking stop. Wildflower by Billie Eilish. Also really good. Um, pretty good. Oh, Picasso, Loveless, very good right now as well. Okay, I gotta, I gotta leave that be. I gotta get, I'm not, I am not a music scene. I'm not a, I am not a music scene. I am not a scene of a music. Oh, I also wanted to show you guys, I got this, um, God, I hope it works. Well, because I really want to do like a soundboard and stuff and have like, have like reoccurring things, you know? Um, so I got something to try and do that, and I'm like kind of low-key, high-key, limited to certain stuff. But wait, okay, I'm gonna turn this on, and is it is it working? I hope it's working. Should I should I have it where I can wait? If I have it where I can hear myself, can, myself, can, can you can also, you also hear, me? hear me? Yes. Yes. We are going to turn that off for right now. <laughs> There's just some good some really good like noises in here you know um there is uh this one i thought was good imaginary technique fish fish it's really fucking funny for whatever reason there's also this one and it was just called sukuna oil have you ever thought about oiling yourself up for me um oh i think i'm supposed to have other stuff though on here i think oh i do have a oh this one this will stay on the soundboard. I don't give a fuck what anyone says because this absolute rats, banger. We rats, we're the rats. We pray at night. We stop, we stop at, at night. At night. We're, we're the, the rats. rats. So good. Also, that's a great one too. Ooh. That one will be reoccurring a lot. Um. <laughs> There's also this magical chord one, and I can't hear it right now, thank god, because it would be really annoying, and I hope it's working for you. If not, I sound insane. Um, I probably sound insane anyway. Oh, it didn't change back. Okay, wait, I gotta fix this. Where did it go? Where did it go? Okay, are we back now? Are, are we? Oh, we are so back. We're so back. Okay. Uh, let's just close that. Looks like it's time for the going through the notes on my phone segment of the podcast. So you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to start scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. And I'm going to click on this one. What? <laughs> this note is from August 5th, 2020 at 7.43 p.m. The thingy confessions of a teenage placenta. This has been going through my notes. What the fuck does this even mean? Let's do one more just in case. Um, oh. Okay. This is this is a really good. This is a really good way to like transition into the topic I want to talk about because this note was from 2020. Um, so it's 2024 currently, as we know. Um, but 2020 was absolute hell on earth. Oh my god. Like, probably the worst year of my life. It was really fucking bad. And, oh gosh, I don't know. I, do I cover this now? Or do I go on and do, okay. I'm not going to cover it just yet. But I think in the next episode, I am going to cover why 2020 was such a shitty year. And um, everything about that. Because, like I said at the very beginning of the episode, I think it would add a little more context on me and stuff i'm just gonna give one big example of what that year meant for me um but it was one of the three years where i had not a single internet connection or phone signal i like i'm not joking when i didn't when i say i didn't have internet connection like nothing would load on my phone because there was just literally no internet that was available because i was in like it in the middle of nowhere, you know what I mean? It literally took me complaining to the governor of Illinois to get an internet connection. I went to college for so long and didn't even have internet at my own fucking house. Bro, everyone's like, oh, what? You know, let's do this online class and it'll get you through. I'm like, girl, I can't even do these real life classes and their online homework because I don't have any internet. Like, absolute hell. Anyway. We're gonna just buzz over that right now, though, because that is gonna be an entire episode. 
by itself. So yeah, you got that to look forward to next time if you're interested. Um, today though, we're gonna have a little bit more fun and go over some more updates. However, today I did want to highly feature and talk about the two, well, two different things. The Sims 4 laundry list updates and highlights that I think are funny. I also am not going to be limiting myself to just the Sims games and their patch updates because, oh my god. So, Baldur's Gate 3. I don't even know where to begin. Let's go on and which one should I do first? We'll be back to Baldur's Gate because there are some pretty hilarious Baldur Gate, Baldur Gate? Baldur's Gate update and patch notes that they just, they really need to be talked about, honestly. But now we are going to be focusing on a, uh, I think it's one of, it's probably a couple, a couple patches back. I don't, it, it's from 6624. Wait a minute, did I talk about this last time? Oh, okay, this isn't actually, mm, never mind. This episode, I'm going to be covering the Baldur's Gate update. It is update number 24. Let me just say, love Larian. Love, love, love. Because they released this game like over a year ago. They are still updating it. They released this game like way over a year ago and they are still updating it and adding new things and like features that people want and you don't have to buy like DLC or anything. And it's just so good. It's so good. So one of these patch updates I wanted to talk about. This is a patch update on the Dark Urge bug fixes. I played the Dark Urge whenever I did my first run of Baldur, my first complete and so far right now my only complete run of Baldur's Gate was with my Dark Urge character. So much fun. Oh my god. Anyway. There, the this is the patch note updates, however, and bug fixes for the Dark Urge. It says, along with the new evil ending cinematics coming within this patch, we've introduced a number of improvements and bug bug fitch, bug fixes for our dirge players. Along with the new evil ending, along with the new evil cinematic endings coming within this patch we have also introduced a number of improvements and bug fixes for dirge players i don't know what they have added i know that they have added more stuff to the evil ending and i wanted to do my evil run first and get it out of the way and then be good but they've added so much stuff to dark urge since like in these 28 updates that i like high key when I go back and play it again. But I feel I packed bonded too much with my fictional Dark Urge character, to be honest. For instance, a bug has now been fixed when combat sometimes fail to trigger in an event that you decide to murder one of your companions as the Dark Urge and attack the party. This will now lead to combat with the rest of the game and Minthara will now respond accordingly if you've been stripped of Ball's influence. We may also have let a certain bard now join the party as a controllable character if there is an empty slot. Temporarily, of course. I want to let you know, too, that little section of the Dark Urge story was what made me want to play it when I heard, like, like this bitch joins your party and then what happens happened. Whatever happens happened. I, I was like, I have to play this game. It looks fucking crazy. Now this is my favorite part. This says, But will we be able to kiss Gortash? We hear you plead. We want to kiss Gortash! Listen, he's a complicated guy who's busy contemplating the minutia of death cult office politics. Baby girl doesn't have time to kiss. Bro. <laughs> Baby girl doesn't have time to kiss. Larian, why do you keep taking it? Why do, why won't you give us what we want? Let us kiss Gortash. Origin character bug fixes. Blade of Frontiers will no longer absent-mindedly swing his sword mere inches from the or aorta of shorter races who try to recruit him. It's awful. Of course, we fix some Gale issues. 
It looks like they added a bug fix that if you deny Gale a magic item three times in a row with magical items on your person or in your party's inventory um, or your chest, he will straight up leave. Whereas you can also just say, I'm not giving you anything, not now, ever or ever, and it will cause him to leave your party, which he really would have left my party a whole lot earlier in my dirge run if that was implemented then because i told that bitch no every single time every single time we've also patched up a bug that was preventing the final di dialogue between gale and mistra from triggering as well as a scene in the end game that would cut off before you could kiss how terrible it looks so cool i want to go back and play dirge i'm not gonna lie so good Also, I just think it's awesome that Larian is working with the mod community with this game. That is really, really awesome. Blood in Boulder's Gate? What? What is this? What? This is age restricted. What is this? In the shadows of the lower city streets, a darkness grows. It begins with a scream. Murder. Greetings, detective. With your keen eye for detail and sharp analytical mind, you possess the essential skills needed to unravel this heinous killing before the murderer strikes again will you become the hero this city needs or the next lamb brought to slaughter plumb the depths of the lower city for clues interrogate witnesses and questionable locals and find the murderer before time runs out good luck detective and may the streets of Baldur's gate reveal their secrets to you before it's too late Cool. Interesting. Um, skip. A murder has been committed. Brutal slay is taking out the streets of others. It's an online RPG powered by the community. Yo! What? This is awesome! What the fuck is this? Destiny calls to you from inside the cave. A place where paths converge and answers lie in wait. Remember, detective, the threads of fate are delicate and can be severed with a single sharp cut. A dagger thrust clean through the skull and into the soft meat of your brain renders you instantly paralyzed. A fatal blow, you conclude, in the moment it takes you to slump to the floor. Through blurred vision, you strain to catch a glimpse of the shadow that descended on the city. But your eyes can only see darkness around you now. A darkness okay, so... that devours innocence. That's so darkness cool. Darkness that will kill again. That is so cool. This is like a year old. Why am I just now finding this? What the fuck? I need to get away from this, though, because I will do this all day. I need to not get back into Baldur's Gate. That's what I need to do. Um, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Eudaimonia or Bust. I hope that you have a lovely rest of your day, and I will hopefully see you next time. Have a good one. Bye, besties. Peace out.